Hello, welcome to the video how to use Remedy Force REST APIs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an incident record using the REST client application from Chrome. Also, we are going to create another incident record using Workbench. So let's get started. In Chrome, I have installed this application called Advanced REST Client. You can download the same from the web store or any other external tool. Once I open it, you'll see this interface. So now, in order to be able to call APIs, first of all, we need to get the Salesforce session ID. Let's follow these steps to get it. So we're gonna start with the endpoint URL. For productions, we need to use this URL, and for sandboxes, this another URL. In this case, we'll test it out with production org. Then, below you'll find the header stack. We are going to create two headers that are required to get the session ID. The first one is called sub action and the value is login. Second header is called content type and the value is text XML. Now let's go to the body tab. Here you can copy and paste the body value that we are provided in our documentation here in the description video. Now you need to replace your username with your actual admin username and the password along with your token ID. If you don't know your token ID, you can go to your user settings and click on reset security token. You'll receive an email with the new token ID. Now that I have my credentials, let's just make sure the method is post and click on send. If you scroll down, you'll see an OK response. This response will include your session ID. Now you need to copy and save it. Now, the next step is to create another REST API call in order to create the incident record. So let's go all the way to the top, click on this icon, and select New Window. A REST API uses the following base URL for calling the REST services. You need to type your domain, and the action. BMC Remedy Force provides a list of actions that you can perform when running REST APIs. In this case, as we are going to create an incident, let's use the action incident. Now, in the header section, let's add a new one. Header name is authorization, and type better, space, and the session ID that you got in the previous call. Let's proceed now with the body section. Here, we're going to add the field and value mappings for the new incident record. As you can see, I'm populating description, open date time, due date time, the clan ID in the incident source on the new incident record. Now that we have these mappings done, let's click on send. There you go. If you scroll down, you'll get an OK response which return the incident number and the incident ID. Now, if we go to Remedy Force Console, you'll find the new incident record. And I can see the field mappings were applied. Clan ID, incident source, and the description field. Now, let's create another incident, but this time we'll create it from Workbench. So open a different type and go to workbench.developerforce.com. Here, select the corresponding environment, keep the default API version, and mark the agree checkbox. Now click on Login with Salesforce. As I have an active Salesforce session, it didn't prompt for credentials. Now go to Utilities and click on REST Explorer. From Workbench, it's easier to create an incident record because there's no need to create a session ID. So we just need to select post and type this base URL. Remember, in this case, we'll use the same action, incident. I'm gonna add similar request body, but I'll just add Workbench in the description field. Finally, click on the execute button. And that's it. You have created a new incident from Workbench. If you expand the result folder, you'll get the incident number as well as the ID. 
let's just validate going to the console again and we can see the new incident is there. This concludes the video how to use Remedy Force REST APIs. Thank you for watching.